live on the Galaxy Band Show. Welcome, Eric. Uh, I'm going to get you to introduce yourself and explain a bit about uh, what you do. Sure. Uh, well, good morning. Thanks for having me. Uh, so my name is Eric James Gravelin. I was a co-producer on The Legend of the Five, and I also played two characters as well. Um, I act and I filmmake, basically. <laughs> Awesome. Uh, so, what can you? So, what can people expect from your two roles? If you can give any like description about your two roles. Yeah, of course. So, uh, the first character I play, you will recognise. So, um, he sort of helps set up the film and set up the world. Although uh, he he disappears a bit abruptly, and we never really know what becomes of him. But the second character, you won't really recognise. I'm not really sure how much I can give away. Uh, Let's just say he's a bit misunderstood and he's a bit of a looming presence throughout the film and he comes back time and time again to give the main characters a bit of a bit of a hard time. Awesome. And so for my next question, Eric, uh, what was the experience like filming on set of Legend of Legend of the Five and what what did you learn from the experience? Oh, it was it was amazing shooting actually. We were shooting up in the Blue Mountains um, just outside of Sydney, which is an amazing location, but it also had a lot of challenges with the filming as well because you're sort of subservient to the weather. And I would say learning to shoot on the fly with rescheduling and shooting with what the weather throws at you was one of the biggest learning curves I've ever had to deal with because uh, it was really, really informative for me from an acting perspective, but also from a co-producing perspective because the way that that was managed was amazing. I've never had so many back-to-back -back rainy days to, to deal with, it was great. Awesome. Uh, and so for my next question, why should people uh, get into Legend of the Five, in your opinion? Do you remember back in the 1990s, there were a lot of just really fun adventure films like Indiana Jones, um, Hook, basically anything shot by Steven Spielberg. Um, that's why I think people should go and see Legend of the Five because it's got that old school adventure feeling that I know I really used to love as a kid. And I'd love, I love being part of a film that I think gives that to kids of today's generation. Uh, and so for my next question, how long have you been acting for and who inspired you to get into acting? So I've been acting professionally for about eight years now and the person who inspired me, or people, should I say, are people like Benedict Cumberbatch. I absolutely love Daniel Day-Lewis, James Spader, uh, Harrison Ford as well, if I'm going back to the Indiana Jones days. Um, all these wonderful actors who embody iconic characters, they're the people who inspired me. Awesome. Uh, and so for my next question, if you could be in any TV or movie franchise, what would it be and why? Oh. I mean, my go-to one would be uh, part of the Marvel franchise because I think they've just got this incredible juggernaut that I'd love to just even have a little role in. Um, to be part of a Marvel film would be pretty amazing. But second to that, I'd love to be part of a really, really good thriller or like spy series, like the James Bond movies or uh, the Girl with the Dragon Tattoo series. I love those things. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, and so for my next question, if you could give any advice to anyone that wants to get into the acting industry, what advice would you give them? And what are the positives and negatives into the acting industry? And how do you get over those negatives? I think to answer both of those questions is to know and understand the word tenacity. So my biggest advice is to be tenacious. And I think that's intrinsically part of the positive and negatives because you're going to receive a lot of opportunities coming your way, but you won't be able to take advantage of all those opportunities coming your way. So it requires a lot of tenacity to be able to go through those moments where you didn't get the opportunity and believing in yourself enough to keep on overcoming those, those setbacks and making sure to get up time and time again to keep going after it because eventually you get to you know be in a film that's in cinemas like we are with legend of the five it was great awesome uh and so for my last question eric um yeah so basically if legend of the five could get a sequel what would you want out of your character if it got a sequel ah an origin story i'd love that um 
basically uh, for both characters, really, because the first character sets up the film. I'd love to know where he comes from because he's actually set in an old time period, which I think would be an amazing thing to explore. But then the other character who you may not recognize because I uh, don't look entirely human, should I say, uh, he comes from a much, much older time period back when the, the forest that the Legend of the Five is set in, he comes from that time period. So I'd love to see where he came from and, and what made him like who he is and what makes him tick. Yeah, an origin story. Are you listening guys, producers? Give me an origin story. <laughs> Awesome. Well, can I just say thank you so much, Eric, for coming on to my show. It means so much. Everyone, definitely go give Eric the amazing support uh, and definitely go check out Legend of the Five. Uh, it's, the trailer looks incredible. Can I just say that first up? Uh, and any final yeah. questions, any final um, things that you would like to say? Uh, just make sure to go and check it out these holidays. Take your kids for the adventure because... Like I was saying earlier, the adventure films that we all used to see when we were younger, that's what I think we've created. And uh, it's important to make sure that we set that up for the next generation. Always give them a good adventure. One tree is all trees. Their roots intermingle in the ground. A ticking clock and time is almost up. I read that these markings represent the elements, and in this culture, everyone is born with one. Like a star sign? Okay, we need to know where we are, how we got here, and how we're getting back. <gasps> you are in the grove of the Earth element. We are in tune with the music of creation. We can manipulate nature, heal others. This forest is safe. We're all gonna die out here. Do you really think that five children could stand against the end of the world? I'm just trying to figure out where to go next. I can't believe you locked me out of here. This was my home! Where does it say heroes can't make mistakes? We are not going to give up. You'll soon discover how meaningless you are in this equation. How can I ever save the people who are most important? This is the place where things are darkest.